Well, Spokane's award-winning dry fly distillery will release its long-awaited bourbon on Saturday. Work on the new product started three years ago, and KXY4's Eric Loney is live with the story. Good morning, Eric. Yeah, good, yeah, good morning, guys. And if you look at this palette next to Don Poppenroth, he's the co-owner of Dry Fly. That is all that's left. This is a, a not a big production of bourbon. No, uh, it was basically two barrels of bourbon, so it was a little less than 60 cases. We've already shipped uh, 20 cases to Seattle for that release, and then this is all that's left. And this is the first ever for you, but also for the state. Yeah, first ever bourbon for us, and first bourbon ever manufactured in Washington from Washington grown raw materials, so yeah, really cool. And there's something interesting about that. Why hadn't it been done before? Uh, the laws regarding the production of bourbon didn't change until the 1960s, so prior to that, uh, bourbon had to be made in Kentucky. Now bourbon is kind of America's whiskey, so it can be made anywhere in the United States. And the difference from other, we were kind of explaining this earlier, but what makes it a bourbon versus a whiskey? Yeah, bourbon is predominantly corn, so it has to be at least 51% corn and then aged in a new American oak barrel. So this is new for you, and also dry fly, you were telling me earlier, is, is, is expanding. You guys are going to be keep growing slowly. Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, we're running out of space, so we're working hard to add additional space and, and add a couple of employees and keep growing so yeah it's the it's the American dream right here any new spirits you're thinking about bourbon uh, any what's next for you most of our new stuff is going to be in the whiskey category and aged spirits so we'll have um, another two or three different whiskeys that'll be coming out in the future okay and finally done quickly Saturday release you expect the line outside tell me about that and how much does it cost yeah uh, we we're gonna expect uh, to do 240 bottles Saturday morning we'll start at 8 a.m. Um, there will be a line I don't know if that'll be five people or 500 we'll find out when we get here and the bottle will retail for 64.95 here in Washington all right, and the neat thing we're going to show, show us the back of the bottle. Just really quickly, we're wrapping this right here. Tell us about the back. This is kind of new. Yeah, this is, uh, we call it our campfire bottle. So there's all sorts of little fishing terminology on here. It's part of the reason why we're doing this in July instead of last December, as we planned, is it took about eight months to get this bottle approved. But um, yeah, it's a really cool bottle. It has kind of a, a lot of little fish stories all over it. All right, Don, thanks very much again. Saturday here at Dry Fly. Nadine, Mike, back to you. All right, Eric, thanks so much.